<laughs> yo, 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 what's going on, guys? It's your boy Jay Phillip. I'm back with another video. Look, if you're new to the channel and this is your first time being here, you already know what to do. Come on now. I found a lot of people who really want to get into the gym or are interested in working out. And they always ask this question. Okay, yeah, I want to work out, but where do I begin? And with that, I, I, I plan to, to shed light on that question itself. Because if you go on Google or you search up on the internet, there are a plethora of people throwing all these kind of workouts and you don't know which one to choose, which one you want to choose in order to see a literal linear progression in both your size and your strength. And I plan to show you guys that. <laughs> For free? <laughs> no way. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Not only does this template cover your basic compound movements from your squats all the way down to your bench press, also including your accessory movements for your, your biceps, your triceps, your quads, and your calves. So without further ado, I present to you guys a beginner's workout guide and getting into the gym. Let's get into it and I'll show you guys how to maneuver around the template itself. I'll see you then. Hey, you don't actually have to stay for the whole video. You can go to the end. Just look at the template. Simple. Okay, so before we even get into the program itself, I'm gonna kind of clear up a couple key points and really just kind of clarify a couple of things before we even get started. So first off, this program is a PPL linear progressive program. Uh, what? Look, I know, I know. Already hitting the big words. Just, just bear with me, please. <laughs> now, you might even be asking, bro, what even is PPL? PPL stands for push, pull, and legs. Meaning one day, you're gonna be focusing muscles on your pushing, your pulling, and muscles coming from your legs. Now, why exactly do you need to be progressing like this? Well, if you, without this, you really won't see any adaptations in both your strength gains and your size gains. Now, every single session, you will first be starting off with heavy barbell exercises. Without this, you really can't make linear progression. Now remember, like we said, linear progression means you're gonna be adding weight per session. And then later down into the, the session, you're gonna be focusing more on higher volume repetitions, meaning you're gonna be focusing on the bodybuilding side. Meaning, yes, you're going to get that kind of high volume, a uh, li little room for high volume intensity. Now, there seems to be a conflict with conventional lifters and what they want beginners to do and actually what beginners want to do or what they need to be doing. And I plan to combine that. That way we can focus completely on the beginner and what is ne necessary for them in order to see progression. Now, of course, we will be focusing and giving you the opportunity to show off those glamour muscles and also help you, you know, see progression. So don't worry. And by doing this, I plan to grab different ideas from, you know, a lot of different programs in order to make this the most accessible the most simple and the most effective template for a beginner to literally see, know what they're doing and to effectively make growth. So I'm really excited. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean about accessory movements and main lifts? Okay, look, accessory movements 
help improve your stabilization for your main lifts or your compound movements. When we talk about main lifts or your compound movements, you are incorporating a lot of your muscle groups to do one movement involving meaning your barbell, bench press, your deadlifts, and your squats. Because you don't just focus one group in one muscle group in uh, executing each of those uh, main lifts. Now, <laughs> what's really funny is a lot of people say, I don't care about strength, I just want to get jacked. Now, okay, yes, I understand everybody wants to be jacked, but you gotta think about it this way. The bigger, the, the more you can lift, the bigger you'll be. It's simple. If I saw myself benching 200, and I saw another guy benching 300. Who do you think is gonna have the bigger developed chest? Come on, man. <laughs> I mean me, I I'm joking. Definitely the dude doing 300 pounds. <laughs> now, one, one uh, acronym that I really wanna point out is AMRAP, A-M-R-A-P, which means as many, as many reps as possible. So the first, the first exercises that you're doing will be in sets of five. Now, I will point this out as we go through the template, but you'll be first doing four sets and then the last set means you're doing as many reps as possible. Now, that does not mean you go buck crazy and do as many reps as you wanna push out just because you feel good that day, no. That means execute as many as the required set is, and you know, maybe a little bit more, but here's the caveat. Do it with good form. Don't, don't mess around and hurt yourself, please. <laughs> Along with accessory movements, you will normally see them being in sets of three with reps ranging from eight to 12. Now with those, if you wanna progress in that, just keep a good form and if you can go all the way to 12 reps then you're good progress or if you're sticking in the range of 8 to 12 progress if you can't do if you move on and you can't do those weights just go down maybe five or ten pounds and then progress from there now with warming up you can here's my biggest tip if you are squatting 45 plates 45 pound plates. With warming up, let's use this for example, squatting. If you have 45 pound plates on each side, you would not automatically start off squatting with that. That is considered your working weight, the weight you were working with. Write that down, write that down. So you would normally start off with, let's just say 10 pounds on each side, to kind of get your muscles understanding you're pushing blood to those muscles to let them know you're going to commit into doing that motion, but in a heavier, more intensified fashion. So if you feel comfortable doing it at that, progress maybe to 25 pounds and then maybe to 35 pounds. So you're always gonna to wanna to do maybe half of the weight you're doing to kind of warm up check your check your form and make sure that you're doing good and you have in your mind that you're going to execute a really good set in the next upcoming exercise now resting you can rest three to five minutes in between every exercise and in between sets you can rest one to three minutes it's up to your discretion all right this is the most exciting thing ever i know y'all have been waiting for it here is the meat and potatoes Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Let's get into this tempo. Oh my gosh, wait, hold on. I'm so sorry, I forgot. Look, this is the most important detail of the entire template. What weight do I start off with? Okay, I got you. Look, you were doing heavy barbell exercises per session, at least one of them. So, as you, as, like we said for the warm ups, what you wanna do for your first week is every every barbell compound movement that you are doing, you want to start off with the, the, the barbell itself. So when you do a bench press, start off with the, the barbell itself. 
and then complete that set and then add weight that you're comfortable with. So as you're doing that set of five, the next one's like, okay, that was, that was easy. All right, cool. Add 10 pounds or add five pounds. And then once you complete that, so on and so forth until your form starts to slow you down. So if you have up to 25 pounds on each side and you cannot finish either three, four or five reps, that's the weight you're working with or henceforth known as your working weight. Write that down, write that down. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and head into this application. Now, before you start, download Google Sheets so that way you can make a copy and follow along if you want. I will leave in the description below all the exercises um, that I personally think that will help you guys out perfect your technique and know different cues in order to execute these correctly. So we'll head into this app. Now, before you even open this, you got to make a copy, make a copy. You cannot do anything into this template unless you make a copy. So once we make a copy, we're gonna head into this. So completely ignore this sheet. Yes, I know it's a lot, but head over to your PPL exercise tab. We'll start here. So notice that you have your pull day, push day, and leg day exercises. Now you are more than welcome to add as many exercises as you want, but this is the recommended starting point. That way you know exactly the basic movements and stuff like that. So we will go over to your one rep max calculator over on your right. Now, remember the number that we were talking about earlier, your working weight. So during your first week, once and every you grab that number, let's just say your bench press, um, we did 25 on each side. So that comes out to be 95. So you enter 95, you're like, okay, cool. I was about, I was able to do five reps completely with no structure or form faltering. Once you do that, it's going to spit out a number 110. Now, if it was 111, 12, 13, just round down to your nearest five pounds and it'll do 110. So once you do that, go over to your inputs back to this uh, little sheet and locate your bench press. Now, in this green little uh, box right here, you can enter your information. So we'll say 110, and you're like, well, what did that change? Bear with me. Now, one thing that I will mention is notice this little drop down list. In your uh, PPL exercises where you have changed everything, if you want to add an exercise, all you have to do is go to your PPL, let's just say push, and we want to add, uh, I'm just doing this as an example. Uh, dumbbell bench press. So once we do that, go back over to your list. And as you can see, boom, it's popped up. So that's one way to do it. It's really cool. Um, that's if you get accustomed to the um, template yourself and you want to kind of mess around. So before we move on, notice on this right side that we're gonna actually change something. If, don't worry about that. So notice on this is asking you your weight added and your progression rate. So we will get back to that, but I'm going to show you your routine tab. So this is the meat and potatoes. <laughs> this is the big boy right here where you're going to be making the best progression ever. This is a 12 week program. And we will look at your bench press. Now notice on your bench press, it says that you need to be doing last set AMRAP, five, five, five. So meaning you will be doing five sets minimum five reps, max five reps. So uh, uh, the way it wants, it is structured for you to do, and it's just for your barbell movements, your compound movements. What you wanna do is do your four sets of five, and on your last set, this is very important, on your last set, 
if you can do a good form, keep your good form of doing five reps, that's whenever you dock it in here. And this is what this green box is for. So let's say you did five. Notice how the number changed. But now notice this, this is really neat. Notice your tricep push downs. You have three, three sets of eight to 12, and it doesn't have a last set MRAP. So these are your accessory movements. Um, now, if you were to put your max number of 12, is nothing has changed. But go back to your input tab and come over to your progression rate per session. Do the drop down list, find tricep push down, and where it says add rates here, this is really important. If you want to, let's say you want to add five pounds per session if you completed that exercise, then put one for five pounds or put two for 10. And we'll stick with 10. Go back here, enter 12. Now, if you go over it, it's not gonna care. It just cares about you hitting good structure of 12 reps. If you go below 12, um, it's not gonna change. So, um, and that matters on your last repetition. Like if you want, keep a good set of three, like three sets of 12, but if you kind of want to make progression, um, then just count your last set. So we will put 12, then boom, it's changed. Notice it changed 10 pounds. So that's how you change it. Um, really, uh, to get all of your numbers like this, uh, just go over to your one rep max calculator, enter all of your information, um, and then go over to inputs, put it in these little Excel cells, and then it'll automatically spit the numbers out for your entire program. It's really simple. If you didn't understand it, just rewind it back and carefully take notes as you see me explain all of this. But and intensity, you don't really have to worry about. That's just something um, for later. All right, well, we made it. That is all that I have to show. It's really an amazing template. When I found it, I was amazed that I was not even shown this. And I was so mad because, and I'm gonna humble myself. I feel like I'm still in the beginner levels to where I need newbie gains. So I, I, I really am excited to show you guys this because I'm doing this program as well and I've seen phenomenal results. Whew. If you wanna see results, just go on my Instagram and look on that timeline of gains and my highlights and you'll just see the progression. Oh my goodness. Like I said, I'll leave everything in the links in the description below. And if you've made it already, I, I, I appreciate it so much. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done it already. But I, I've got so many awesome things in store for you guys and I, I, I'm really excited to show you. But right now, this is all that I'm gonna show you. Savor it, just rewind it if you need to, um, to understand it better. So that way you can literally use this template to reach your goals. And leave in the comment section below if you have any questions that I feel like I didn't cover um, or that you're just curious about. Um, also, let me know what else guys, topics you guys want me to go over and I'll do my best to see what we can do. But for right now, just enjoy this. I've got a lot in store for you guys. All right. As I've always said, until next time.